a minimum wage of $1,218 per month in addition to transport monies was approved by government late last year for domestic workers. The Union of Institutional and Household Employees of Namibia, however, yesterday called on government to raise the minimum wage to $3,500. $1,218 might seem, in many instances, a very low salary. Uh, it possibly could be in, a, in, a, in an urban environment like Ventuk. But when we did our survey and when the Commission of Inquiry was doing their work, we heard of people outside of Ventuk who were earning as little as three, four hundred dollars for a five-day week. That is too low. To them, a thousand two hundred is going to be a good salary. Um, I'm sorry to say that a trade union looking at three thousand five hundred then are way out of line. That's far too high. More problems might arise from a minimum wage that is set too high, says Parkhouse. He urges unions to be careful of what they demand and take a closer look at the consequences of their actions. What unions have to bear in mind, trade unionists have to bear in mind, is if you push salaries too high, you will end up causing more unemployment. Uh, a lot of people in Namibia will start considering should I do my own housework? Should I do my own washing up? They won't immediately, I'm convinced, they won't immediately start firing somebody. You won't find an overnight increase in unemployment. But as the years go by, there will be more and more. That is for sure. We must be careful not to, to have extraordinary, unrealistic demands and inadvertently cause more unemployment. The Namibia Employers' Federation, meanwhile, also expressed concern over some employers who lowered the wages of their domestic workers after the official minimum wage was introduced. He urges employers not to reduce the wages and to continue to regard the services of a domestic worker as vital because they contribute to the success of households.